Hey fellow travelers, this is Bill with This Old RV. Today I'm going to share with you some sights and experiences a bit off the beaten track around San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico. We're not going to be looking at beaches and bars and that type of thing. People better than me have put together really good videos about that sort of thing. So today's going to be a bit of a mix and if you have a pet you might want to stay around because I'm going to share with you what you can do in the case of an emergency with your pet. Since we're already on the water, let's jump into number one, in English, the Pearl Farm. You gotta go to the Pearl Farm. It's about a 30 to 40 minute drive across the bay from San Carlos in an area called Miramar. Just outside my window, I can hear the sound. Big old rusty shrimper. Rarely, rarely you have a group that survives, that the whole group survives till the end. But you keep losing some oysters. Yeah. And then once an oyster gets sick, etc., etc., and that, uh, well, it spreads around the group. You know, so you want to remove that uh, sick oyster. Uh, imagine, yeah. It's the first day of the season, and it's always been this way. Sleepy boardwalk comes to life If only for a day and As you leave the Pearl Farm, heading back towards San Carlos, another site that you just gotta see is an old historical hotel, a massive hotel on the waterfront that doesn't see many visitors. And it has, well, pieces of an RV park. Oh, come on, let's just go see it. But first, we have to drive through a residential area about a kilometer and a half. So say one mile, to the old hotel, passing by what I think is a drug lord's home, under construction. Michaela seemed to think it was a new apartment building under construction. No, that's not an apartment building. That's a drug lord compound. And if not, well, then I'm terribly sorry to the nice family who's building probably a lovely family home. Okay, back to the old hotel. The grounds are absolutely beautiful. The location is amazing. And the buildings, the many buildings, are really well kept up on the outside. The RV park, well, needs a little bit of work. Come on, let's go take a look around, beginning with a drive through of the RV park. And come on, don't judge this too harshly. It's probably a really good buy. Deluxe RV parks. Oh, okay. Is it? Is it deluxe? Is it? It's probably better power than what we've got. Well, that's what I was wondering. Uh, They're pretty nice sights. They're all right. There's no shade. There certainly isn't any shade. But they have. Is there any hookup? Yeah, there should be. Yeah, yeah there's electrical on the back side. Oh, God, okay. Yeah. There's got to be water. It's got to be. But there's water on the top. So, honey, if I lost you and I needed to live cheaply somewhere, I'd just come here. I would oh, just. Oh, honey, you'd die of depression. Yeah, I probably would. We have a really. Oh, I think we should buy this. Oh, God. Oh, seriously. And we, and we would have a pickleball court in the middle. We plant some trees. You know? We would go strike a deal for protection from the drug lord. I've been mellowed by a sunrise that greets me on an early Sunday morning. Mellowed by the tide that rolls in on a lazy summer day. Mellowed by the winds and these spinnakers and sands, the seagulls and the pelicans, the dolphins and the whales. What happened to that wild man? Now he's just kicking back, laying low. Easy. Another experience is a search for fresh shrimp, something that we do at least every three weeks or so while we're in San Carlos. This time, Michaela drove alone about 40 minutes south of San Carlos, past the city of Wymus, on the sea, the little town of Empalmi, fishing village, railroad town. This is not a tourist town. While you walk the streets of Empalmi, chances are you're going to be the only non-Mexican except on the Tiangas days, the market days, when you might see some other people from San Carlos. So let's tag along with Michaela as she drives to Empalmi to pick up some fresh shrimp, right off the boat into the coolers, 
She pays about 200 pesos for a kilo, so that's 2.2 pounds, and that's about $12 American, $16 Canadian. said is that the best ring you could buy me don't you know this is her big day daddy's girl always gets her way little does she know not so long ago on that weekend they did talk it's not quite what she thought three days on a desolate coast south of the border down in mexico a sleeping bag and an old guitar Camping out under the stars A quick flight away From one angry fiancé You should have heard a girlfriend's talk That first night he went walking Okay, shifting to a totally different experience. What do you do if you come to San Carlos and you find that your pet or pets are in distress? I'd like to help you with this. We've been through this so many times with our two rescue cats, both found in Mexico. Now, San Carlos has really good local vets. There are several of them. The trouble is they're limited in the services they can offer because they're one-person operations. So if you find that your pet needs something more significant, more extensive, you're worried about their overall health uh, beyond what can be done locally, this is what you do. You hop in your car with your pet and you drive like hell to Hermosillo. A two hour drive under normal circumstances, Mexicans do it in about an hour, you can do it in an hour. If you get pulled over, you tell the policia that you have an emergency with your pet, you'll get an escort. No, I don't know, but you may. So pretend that that might happen. So come on, hang along as we drive to Hermosillo on a recent occasion with our two pets to the animal hospital. Two adults, two cats, two cages, jammed into our little tow car, the Fiat 500. You must be a horse. Favorite spot, the front door. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, sweet. Hey, Traveler, how was your trip uh, to the vet today? Oh, noisy, extremely noisy and hairy. See what else you got in here. Oh, there's another one. Hi, nice, Squeaky. Okay. He looks so calm now. He does. It's his hair that's all over me. This is an exceptional animal hospital. Capable, professional, skilled staff who really care. Available 24 hours, seven days a week. It's a teaching hospital with every imaginable specialty. They have saved our special needs cats on numerous occasions. Okay, shifting gears again and bringing up number five for experiences around San Carlos, Semana Santa, the Easter celebration in Mexico. Now, throughout Mexico, Semana Santa is huge, but in San Carlos, it's massive. This little town of approximately eight to 11,000 people, who really knows, explodes into hundreds of thousands of people. And I mean hundreds of thousands of people over the Semana Santa week. It's incredible. Let's take a little drive down to the main street to see what's happening. I think you should do a pass. No, honey, we'll get caught in here. We'll never get out again. <laughs> We're not. Let me go just sit here for a second. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. 
So to finish things off, if this video, and I hope it has, tweaked your interest in bringing your RV to San Carlos, but you're a little bit concerned, well, you could always come by horse. Or how about a caravan? Thanks for watching. I hope you That's come back. Life.